and welcome to Danganronpa V3. In this episode, we're going to finish up the trial. Himiko is a prime suspect for the murder of Tenko. Angie, we still don't know about her yet, but hopefully we'll uh, figure some stuff out in this episode since she's the one we actually have to figure out. But anyways, let's just uh, get right back into it. What's this, uh, feeder about now? Yeah. Monokuma and Cub's feeder. It's time for what? Guess the victim quiz. <laughs> Great. I've only been here for a minute. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, I think you two are, uh, I think none of you three are gonna live for, uh, all too much longer. Kaito. I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions are scary. Logic does not compute. I agree. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. One of them speaking. You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. And why are they scary? So round. So sweet, so delicious. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Uh, did you hear? You already something? have, by the looks of things. No, I didn't. Right now, you're on the threshold. Right. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. You're gonna say that for everyone. <laughs> I know. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already! Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. Great. I... I don't... Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? Skipped over some dialogue. And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just... don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. Uh, the game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. He doesn't like the uh the sappy stuff. Damn it! Don't tell me. Himiko. He keeps don't giving give up. dialogue. Like I don't. I read the dialogue, but I don't let them speak. Riding on the outcome of this trial. Everyone's. talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. She's not the person we're voting for, remember? Have to vote for the person who killed Angie. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gota can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... 
slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. Fair enough. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So don't give up, Himiko! Bait time. What do we got to talk about? Uh, the child sounds on the corner. The Bloody Kokichi. In that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? Mm -hmm. What if yeah. someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms. Oh, there's three. Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. Yeah, even if Himiko picked the room, someone else could have set that trap. Your opinions are empty words. Show me that uh, bloody Kokichi evidence there. Hmm. Peachy was investigating the neighboring room from the same instead. The room also had a part of the cross piece cut off. Performing the same. Could it be this? Could it be agreeing with uh, Gonta here? Because he investigated the neighboring room from where the seance is held, and it also had a piece of the cross piece cut off. Was he Let's see. I don't have too much, uh, I don't have too much influence left, I just realized that. Was Trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped. Oh. Yeah. I agree. That one, uh, that one wasn't too difficult. It's just like going to said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Kikichi will tell you. No, he won't. <laughs> I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. When we thought there was a furred victim, I was so distracted by that I didn't even realize that it was the neighboring room. So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. Yeah. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko. Right? Well. Hmm. Himiko, do you remember what Tenko told you? Huh. Yeah. Come on. Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Yeah. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. You're right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right. So let's do our best. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. 
Do not say everyone. After all, the blackened is still among us. True. Let's not ruin this new mo moment, though, as as Kaito just said. But damn, well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect for my soul, bro. High five. Soul, bro. <laughs> anyway, do you think the blackened this time has some sort of superpower? Please. What are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards. Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Do tell. Oh. I know one step on the floor, but until the culprit used in the murder. So I'll try and find stuff now. Oh, the rest of this has to do with, uh, thing, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. Got to pick something fast. Is there a spot you didn't step? I was wrong. Was there a spot we didn't step on? Um, I'm trying to think of uh, something here. When the cross piece support was full. The room the was only fortune that supports the floor. Room was cut off. It wasn't broken naturally. It looked like somebody purposely cut it. not loose before the seance. Um. Oh god, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could it have just, could it just be the loose floorboard? Uh, I don't know. the line again. When you were preparing the seance, was there a spot you didn't step? Um, Damn it! Try and remember. Uh, yeah, no, that's all has to do with Angie's uh, death. stepped on the magic circle, but that encompasses quite a wide area, doesn't it? This is it! Yeah, okay. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Why didn't I think of that? Dang it. It's, I, because it covered a wide area, that's why I didn't consider it. question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. Who was the one who uh, made the circle in the first the place? The circle's purpose was to keep us away from who, the And I wonder who the person who uh, made the circle in the first place was. <laughs> that was part of the culprit's plans too? Ooh.
It has to be you. Yeah. Oh. Kyo. Was it you? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. Exactly. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Uh. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Answer already! Did you do it? It's a good laugh. Good laugh. What is so funny? <laughs> I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. Is that the only reason you killed someone? What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? He's always like this, man. I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. Wait a minute. Did you figure it out? Use touch felt for the uh, broken see. floorboard. They felt right that way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall, so they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course, the answer to that is there was nothing of the sort. Gambit. Oh, uh, we got letter words there. Five letters and six letters. Okay. As per usual, I'm gonna end up. Culprit is one as a marker to position themselves in the dark. Oh, is it just a? Uh, Oh, I think I know what this is. Uh, give me an eye. It's just the magic circle, isn't it? circle. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture 
to feel their way through the dark. Ah, uh, okay, I got you now. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Right the Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. Tell us. Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? I would be feeling self to the circle. The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? If you were in the, uh, center of the room, you could have, if you were in the corner of the room, you could navigate it to it based on the position of the walls. But then you, there might have been more possibility of damaging it. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. I'm talking to Keo here, remember? Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. Mm-hmm. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Oh? Do you have a oh, photo yeah. photograph of it? We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic <coughs> circle anymore. Please. Hey, may I have your attention? No, oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Neo add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. What the? No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that purpose! Please, let me use it! With it, I might be able to save everyone. Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. Yes, uh... Kinda predict that one when I got image... Picture. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Ready? From your mouth? I also use magic. So yes, remember the uh This printout is my memory of the little uh, the sands. Uh, spike outs or whatever. The little uh, lines of salt that go over to the corners. Please right. confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Yes. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. Ooh. My lie. <laughs> you said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretch to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. Is that the only reason that it failed? <laughs> so it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. True. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Yeah, well, what's the reason? Oh, Tell us. To be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function. Oh, come on. <sighs> Analyze my turns. Why do you have to talk about that? 
I, I ain't interested. That is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality. Plus, why specifically that? A satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Fair enough. Fair enough. Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Keo, you killed Tenko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. So, Keo, if you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. There we go. Gonna have one of these. Since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. Right, what do we got? Mark a stone, the cage, the sheet, the dog. If statue. you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carried the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle is Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. So simply put, I am not the killer. What's the opportunity then? The only person who... Govan Crouchy in this form. Alright, on stone, yes. Eugene Kokichi places over Tanko. Emiko removed it. This place. Page. Kyo was the one who placed the sheet over the cage and removed it off the cage. When the statue was placed put together to which must be the uh, white sheet. It would have been uh, the sickle as Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma. Kyo would have uh I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. I'll cut through your words! He would have uh, had it uh, right underneath the sheet. Right? The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Keo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have mm -hmm. secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. That is the ability he wanted. It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tanko? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because mm -hmm. if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. Because of course, uh, remember, only Angie's killer is getting executed. What you talking about, Keo? Please. <laughs> you still don't understand? I'm like the only Tenko. That is yeah, the I'm truth. the only person who remembers but that. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? 
You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? Why am I like the only person who points that out the entire time? You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Uh, trivial... No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. Mm-hmm. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie! I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. You kind of have to. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? It's taking a while to learn that. Of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Try so hard. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. What do you have to say? This argument is getting intense. At times like this. Oh yes. It's very own more phenomenal trial ground. Yay, one of these. Yippee! I've been waiting for this! <laughs> I can one thing I can agree with Kokichi on. Why were you waiting for it? Opinion, not vote. Yeah. There you go. his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! The katana was found in Kyo's lab. 
So Keo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we just vote now? Mm hmm. Right. Keo killed Tanko and Andy! I got this! But he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. There we go. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! Oh, that wasn't right, was it? The katana okay, was no. found in Keo's lab. Lab Angie. Okay, so it is just so Keo. Keo. That's the first Tango, one. But he not right then. Keo killed Tango and Angie. Kibo, we don't know for certain that Keo killed Angie. Forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Keo's lab. Keo! Anyone could have entered my lab. So Keo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Kokichi! Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Can't we just vote now? I got this! Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. There we go. to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. Exactly. And there's still the mystery of Tenko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Keo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tenko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. Hmm. I think it's dry blood. Pressing the button. This is it. Let's answer this. The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Was that Tango's blood? That bloodstain was too far from Tango's corpse to have been hers. Also, the bloodstain was already dry when we found it. Uh, but the blood uh. from Tanko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that bloodstain the only dry one? the stain was small or what? Uh. What are you saying, man? There before we started the seance. Before the seance? That's it. 
That bloodstain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tenko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Uh huh. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places did. Angie might have gone, and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? <laughs> it seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. Of course, you say pretty that. I'm too sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Hmm. <laughs> To debate sometimes what we got effigies katana necronomicon the art Child. research lab is not where angie was killed she was killed in the empty room instead she left her lab on her own but why would she go into an empty room there shouldn't have been anything in there Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! Keep herself awake at night. She would drip hot wax on her body. Please. That's Your typical Mew. Only you would do, Mew. <laughs> Great. The art research. Only their things. Mm hmm, yeah. Wish anyone could rent the lab again. Yeah. The FG is supposed to be near the deceased. Oh, she wants to get candles to uh, burn the book, right? Search lab is not where Angie was killed. To uh, burn the Necronomicon. That's it. Angie went to that room to get a candle. He's yeah. going much smoother. Wax play. Totally. Uh, no. Angie was going to use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. Then, that. Did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dried blood under floor. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. Uh. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a Tua's will. Or 
Maybe the power of magic. Who knows? It's neither. I just picked one. <laughs> Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. was killed by a fatal stab wound to the torso. Additionally, see that she has lacerations on her forehead. Is it just the Monokuma file? Is that it? Is that all we need to use here? Or do we need to go for the uh, this here? Considering the laceration, the injury on the victim's forehead was not used bleeding as much as it should. Maybe it's this then. This is it! Yeah, okay. Couldn't have been just the Monokuma file. The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see! So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow! Ha! It's all clear now! Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off! All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear? What is all clear? What is... What are you... All clear? Yeah, you're not what looking too good, man. You all... Screen shaking. You what? What? What are? I will not fear. I will not back down. What is this? Is that uh, the mouth? What are you doing? Sweet Correggio, calm yourself. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. Oh. You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Y yes, you're right. Split personality. Okay. I'll teach them. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts! Of mysteries! Of a dense, impenetrable fog! Nothing is clear at all! Another one of this with this guy. File, duct tape, the katana. The Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible! Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You would tend to poison our minds with your delusions? It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and It's a bit laggy for the voice here. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? In such a way that they wouldn't leave any blood behind. You say the cult. Uh, the duck team? Blood on the hour. Blood that was flowing from the back then. She's in a creative pool. Is it the duct tape? What are the other two things? The katana? Yeah, that's not it. 
and the other one was the uh, floorboard. That has nothing to do with it. There was dry. Oh, actually, there was dried blood on the bottom part of the floorboard. Could it be that? Could it be that? The dried blood on the bottom part of the floorboard. Okay, it's gonna be either this or the duct tape. Ever carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later. Okay, I missed it. There'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. No, that's not right. Okay, it is the duct tape then. Damn it! You say the culprit. I'm probably getting ahead of myself with loose forward, which probably comes in later. Unless so, we use that on the other thing he said, which I'm I'm not I don't really think so. Carried okay, Angie's then. body? And not a single Wrong drop of button. blood fell. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Okay, it is the uh, second weak point then. Damn it! You say the culprit carried Angie's body? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Yeah, I definitely am getting ahead of myself with that then. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wipe them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? Yeah, it's the okay there. Back your words. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Right. The bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. Good job, culprit. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Andy's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Is it the guy who's, uh... Is it the guy who's, like... Like, look at him right now. Like, <laughs> how he's acting about this entire thing. I still feel like with that other rule, there's the possibility that there's a actually a second blackened, but. Uh... It has to be you. Yeah, okay. It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. <laughs> That was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. You killed both of them. Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. 
Why? Why you kill them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. Oh. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? Um. Both of them seem like they were planned out, but maybe there was another person intended to be involved in one of them. That's it. Yeah, I think uh, figured that Angie's one out. murder was an accident. What? Tanko wasn't accident? That's right. Keel originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick, but while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. Oh. It's like reverse DR2. So he decided to kill her. Angie is the uh, from Yoko in this situation. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. He killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinko. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. Some sort of if vendetta. If points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it? Calm yourself, Correggio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. You're right. Yeah. You're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Is this like a uh, Norman Bates thing? Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. But you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. No, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Correggio. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! You're wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 <laughs> apologize. 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 Seriously, what the hell's happening? Agreed. Into this part. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. <sighs> I still know how to do those whole ones. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are 
simply wrong. I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. I feel like my keys aren't registering here sometimes. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Karekio. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Well said, Karekio. To continue this debate is meaningless. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! Karekio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. It's son back there, didn't he? So why are you looking it is a Norman like Bates that? thing. You're all wrong, not me! Karekio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Okay, no, he did say sorry lot. <laughs> not son. I thought we were getting into a uh, Norman Bates, but I feel like it's still like I told you I am not the quirky culprit. with the mother. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Regio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Regio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you. Yeah, we aren't uh, surviving this, I don't think. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like Now I'm there. <laughs> Gonna have to start that all over, and we went so far into that. It's fun. Is this really the end? We can't let it end here. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yeah, I'm not. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. I think I figured out the whole things. You have to press them at the right time and then hold until that thing fills. So I have nothing to confess. Yeah, I think I figured that out. I have nothing to admit. Finally. You are simply wrong. But I uh, keep screwing it up. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. And it makes me screw up the next one as well, so I, maybe I shouldn't be <laughs> attempting that. Force your delusions on us. Your logic? That's merely a delusion. Correcchio, to continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? Your logic? That's merely a delusion. 
Well said, Correcchio. To continue this debate is meaningless. Why must you force your delusions on us? You are not. That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correcchio. To continue this debate is meaningless. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 Sorry, I'm not speaking. I'm concentrating. I'm still doing terrible. You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 You have no proof that Correcchio is the Four killer. Words. I don't, uh, floorboard, R-E, moved. I don't know what that one is. not the culprit, so why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! I don't have, uh, enough time to think about that. Such a sorry lot. You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. I did the wrong thing. Oh. Mm. My key didn't respond there. Why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. Before move floorboard removed. So why are you well, that's the first like one that? I tried, right? You're all wrong, not me. Correctio's what am I screwing up here? Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the culprit. You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. <sighs> I told you, yeah, I think I'm, I'm screwing up because everything keeps moving like on that last one. I need actually be paying attention. I'm pretty sure it's floorboard removed. Removed floorboard. Nah, it must be that's why. You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. Yeah, there you go. That took way longer than I should have, honestly. Kyo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. I was getting ahead of myself there. Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. 
Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. How? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. There should have been more A's there, I think. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And a cold copter with a floorboard! All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi, I'll leave the finale to you. <laughs> what did you do? What else did you do there in this thing? Put an end to this. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Yep, everyone's favorite. Here, yeah. I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. <laughs> Closing argument. Start. Who is the cop with the saw in the empty room? Okay. It's all sevens. It's all sevens. So we need to answer everything else before the rest will unlock. Half made of salt. Sickle place to kill. Sliding lock. Moved forward. Duct tape. Old leaf katana. Small stone. Okay, who is the culprit with? Who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Okay, what weapon knocked Angie unconscious? Uh, well, yeah, there we go. What was compressing the injury on Angie's head when she was carried? Yep, duct tape. What weapon killed Angie? Would it be a removed gold leaf katana here? Because by the looks of things, he already has it out here. Mm, I'll find out, I guess, in a bit. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Actually, we don't have that yet, I don't think. Handle the spinning katana. The slime lock, yeah. When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door Kokichi? We don't have that. During the seance, okay, yeah. What weapon did the culprit sap in the iron cage? Who besides Kokiji was responsible for extinguishing the candles? I don't think we have that. How was the culprit able to move around in darkness during the seance? It's the salt path. The culprit approached the cage. What's the one we have left now? Move the gold leaf. Magic circulars, okay. Okay, it's because he already had it out, that's what I was confused about, because he said, it said to me, removed. Okay, stab KB, FG. Kokichi's lock picking. Cut cross piece under the floor. Stomp on the floorboard. Footsteps. Contaminating the scene. Shuichi extin extinguishes the flame, right? This one here. If they saw in the empty room. Also for 
extinguishing the candles. Oh, too far. Let's come approach the cage. That one was much easier than uh, other ones. Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. As per usual, I'm probably gonna stay silent during this part. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. Thank God she went into that room. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And was just cutting cross pieces. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan, but now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked the front door from inside. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere, and the other was the key to locking the room. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door.
Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Finally, four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. But our culprit had another plan, to commit a murder in the darkness. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. Finished the ritual, 
and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. And discovered Tenko's body. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Kureki Oshinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. Complete. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. <laughs> Sweet Correcchio. There were times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? Yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. Is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret, my only regret, was not being able to make 100 friends. 100 friends? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. Hmm. Oh, it's so unfortunate! I was so close to 100! Wh what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already! Roger that! One voting time! Coming up! The heart racing excitement as... <laughs> <laughs> Racing excitement has a blackened and a spotless. Uh -huh. It's voting time. Someone's gonna die. One of those guys is gonna die. Coins. Thank you. 
Still somehow got an A. Yeah, but there's not enough people for 12, is there? For now. No. Right. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey. Shut up. <laughs> I tell us. There is someone that I love. It is Norman Bates shit, isn't it? I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Yes, we vowed an endless love to each other. Forever bound by fate. None can come between us. Okay, I guess it isn't. By an intense love. No matter what anyone says. Sister, I thought it was um. I thought most. Yeah, I thought it was uh, his mother, based on what he was implying. That's why I was talking about Norman Bates this whole time. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> right. Look at how Kokiji. Whatever is the matter. Okay then. She loved me so deeply, the fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. Am I able to post this bit on YouTube? Love, but none could stop the love we shared. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. For my beloved sister. Always messing around. No. Huh? Sister. However. Mm hmm. Do you understand? For my beloved sister. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? I got gotcha you now. Incomprehensible. Sister. Yes. What? I am Correcchio's older sister. What? Yes. By the looks of things you did. I am pleased. Sister. Correcchio. Are you serious? I told you. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> because <laughs> unacceptable. Why 
you. Then. She stepped in. Excellent. Wonderful. Huh? But. Ah, <laughs> oh, can this beautiful? <laughs> well, no way. For my beloved sister. Yeah, Kaito doesn't like any of this. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if it's gonna be like that other game in the series that was the first to take place in its specific uh, universe you got me so then Sister. Sister. Correcio. Oh. It's punishment time! Huh? Sister. That's right. But what? Therefore, from an anthropological point of view, What was that? Yeah. I... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I shall observe. That's right. <laughs> right. Okay. Humanity is beautiful. It's punishment time! Punishment time. Oh boy. I will definitely say Kyo is uh, easily uh, the least sympathetic of the killers so far. Maybe there'll be one later on, but I guess we'll uh, find out. But what's this execution gonna be like? It's gonna be a uh, laggy as per usual. Cultural melting pot. We have a focus on him. Yeah. 
into the pot. Uh, too hot. Oh god. What are you gonna do, Monodam? What are you gonna do? Yep, he goes. Oh, he's going in himself. He's going in himself. He's crying blood. the spirit. Yeah, Monokuma ain't letting that happen. but can't let anyone be happy, can he? Hmm? Now you care about him. Now you care about him. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> of course you would say it. <laughs> you know, just like real life. I can agree with that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Off he goes. It's no more like a chorus anymore when they say, so long, farewell. Always messing around. Of course. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank You're you. Right. Go to do his best. Um. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> You're the sidekick now. Exciting. No way. 
Yeah, how about no? I think Angie's death is enough uh, penance for that. You all right? Hey. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're so dumb. Huh? Yes. Because I'm a liar. Of course you don't. But. Right? Nah. -uh. Because. Hey. Hold back on what? Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. sad. at the end. Okay, no. Got a bit more. Aww. Aww. No, she fought. It's the two best characters that are still alive. She's sleeping very peacefully. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? Please. I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow. That really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go and tell Carrie Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya. There's no way he'd do so. <sighs> Gunta is a gentleman after all. Yeah. Hmm. What's it? What's up? Huh? Well. Great. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I like this. I mean, we're just starting out. That's where. Oh, oh. Damn it! I don't have time to be dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Damn it! No way am I gonna die here. No way. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it. Even unlocked a mysterious mask. Got the mask off them. All right, we're gonna save then. Chapter three, end.
what little uh, preview are we going to get at the start? Oh, you're saying a few hey days ago. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Uh, you can uh, do that in the uh, next episode. <laughs> Sorry, man, you're going to have to wait a bit to come in if we uh, have not been introduced to you yet, of course. But anyways, uh, I could, if it was someone whose voice we already heard, I couldn't tell because the voices were too quiet. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time we're starting off chapter 4. Uh, so, I'll see you guys next episode of Angry Rumpa V3. Goodbye.